Already on edge, West Jerusalem is the scene of another attack. This time at a synagogue in Har North, an Orthodox Jewish neighborhood. According to Israeli police, two people wielding guns and axes entered the synagogue and attacked worshippers during morning prayers. The assailants are believed to be Palestinians from East Jerusalem. Israeli police units were dispatched and responded quickly arrived at the scene and shot and killed the two terrorists. The area has been cordoned off and we're continuing to search the neighborhood to make sure there aren't any further terrorists. That the attack took place at a holy site will likely provoke further anger. In the past month, violence has surged in areas of Israel and the occupied Palestinian territories. Just on Sunday, a Palestinian bus driver was found hanged inside a vehicle in Jerusalem. Israeli police say autopsy results show he committed suicide, but the victim's family and many Palestinians suspect foul play. The pattern has been set by the Israeli authorities and by the uh, violent and uh, terrorist settlers who are attacking the Palestinians and uh, the religious places in Jerusalem uh, for quite some time now. And uh, we've been warning, the leadership has been warning all along against these such, such uh, behaviors. At the heart of the dispute is access to a landmark religious compound sacred to both Jews who call it Temple Mount and Muslims who call it Al-Haram Al-Sharif. Palestinians are also opposed to Israel's demolition of their homes and the continued building of illegal settlements. The Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu says he will respond to Tuesday's attack with a heavy hand all continuing a cycle of violence both sides blame each other for. Gerald Tan, Al Jazeera.